them, the old students decided to have a catch-up day. So wherever old Wesley students are, they would meet, they would catch up, and then post their meeting on the old students' website for everyone to view. Our contribution to that is our chapel service this morning. So old students today will be meeting here in Auckland with Roger Jolly, who's heading that, in Hamilton with Aaron Clark, in Christchurch with Graham Baker and Brian Turner, former president of the Methodist Church, in Rotorua with Michelangelo Taufa, in Perth with Greg Maskew, in Melbourne with Iki Tukino, in Fiji, in the Solomon Islands with Eric Chow, in London, and in Abu Dhabi. <coughs> in some of these places, former Wesley College students will be meeting and then posting their meetings or photos of their meetings on the website. So our Our contribution will be the hymn this morning, Ring the Bells of Heaven, which many of them will remember from their days, and also a few chants. Right? So please stand as we sing our hymn, Ring the Bells of Heaven. <laughs> That's 
fell. So what does the Lord require of each of us? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with God. God, I come meet you. Do all the good I can, by all the means I can, in all the ways I can, in all the places I can, in all the times I can, to all the people I can, as long as I can. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Last term, we started acknowledging the students who had passed the NCS certificate for their particular year level. And I indicated that um, I had a, a few more uh, awards to hand out. Now, it turns out we had 10 people um, also get NCA at a particular level that they're working at by the end of last term. So we had uh, three people get a $50 voucher and we had some more vouchers. Um, unfortunately, because there were so many of you, I had to um, reduce it back a bit from $50, but I still have some, some vouchers here for these people who have got um, NCA. So at level three, uh, if these folks can come forward, Dan, uh, Joe, Eliasa, Josephina, and Hawaii. push on for an endorsement or to just show what you do know and it's not about getting 60 credits it's about getting as many credits as you can and these are the things that can set you apart when you are applying for a place at uni or a job and you're showing your transcript you don't want to just have the 60 credits you want 100 or 110 or 120 and you want that endorsement and that's what shows that you have the ability to push on and to, to put yourself ahead of those others who are contesting those positions with you. Now, some of you will have been made aware as you're working through 